Hey guys, uh, Code Red here. Uh, didn't mean to cut it short yesterday, but uh, girlfriend's niece coming down, coming down stairs and needed her aunt's uh, fingernail polish, so I helped her get that. And I apologize for cutting that one short, but uh, girlfriend was uh, doing some arts and crafts yesterday. She made a like an ornament ball Christmas tree for her work and uh, then she done an ornament ball wreath here for the house and so she was kind of in the arts and crafty mood and uh, she asked me if I wanted anything done so I said sure and uh, I took up my SCX-10 uh, Jeep Cherokee and uh, she was she says what do you want done and I says well I want this and this and this and so I thought I'd make this and, and show you you know put my little bit of a spin on it and she's getting into it she is and she's been a big help with me i mean got vision problems so uh kind of hard for me to see itty bitty parts or things far away and yeah it kind of affects you know driving or every everyday life but you know what i'll let it get to me even even in shooting you know i just use a higher power scope but uh that's besides the fact we're here for off-roading for today and whatnot but uh, snow is on the ground, winter's getting cold, so hopefully here when I can get her brother-in-law into gear, we'll put some coyote videos out, but, uh, yeah, and in advance, um, hear a voice in the background, uh, it's Wistie's, my girlfriend's, uh, uncle gaming with one of his friends, so I apologize for that, or the furnace kicking off and kicking on like it just did, but, uh, for, without further ado, let's go over the things that, uh, she helped me do. So here we go. Get my flashlight out, whatnot. Actually, let me grab the toolbox. So this makes it easier for me. So I'm not getting everything because you know need sometimes need more hands than what what we have. And trusty flashlight. I need to. I got that on Amazon. That's 3800 lum. And I love it. But the battery time sucks when you're running it on the ultra bright. But it's come in handy when people walk locked on the door. 3 4 a.m. back home when I was living with a friend and popped that on that on the people and yeah it's been a good flashlight pretty heavy duty got, a, got it off Amazon for a good price but uh anyways got my propped up here or my assistant as you can see right now one of them she went ahead and uh there we go and she colored in the actual sign she kind of made a couple Lips, but that's okay um she's been doing a lot of work here lately she sliced her thumb uh yesterday pretty good C uh cutting hot glue off of ornaments and sliced her thumb open and i was part of one of the reasons why i had to take off real quick too I had to take her up to the er i just couldn't get the, the bleeding to stop so yeah so she colored in the axial get it to focus here and and the emblem and uh, done it on the back too. And as you can see, I got my chain on there until I can get my roof rack or front bumper here. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, give you a little, give you guys a little flex motion there. Um, she's done it on the back as well. It's kind of at a weird angle of how I'm sitting. She's done a good job there. She's done a real great job. And then uh, she asked me, well, do you want to uh, do the rims? It's like yeah you know color in the the beadlock areas you know like the bolts or whatever and then i let her have at it with her acrylic nail uh or not acrylic nail nail her acrylic glue or paint she's got for her arts and crafts and she ended up coloring the rims for me i mean at first i wasn't sure about it you know because i just wanted like the beadlocks done you know and then she went ahead and did the actual she's done the beadlock uh bolts and this is still the stock from axial but she went ahead and done it like a grayish silver give that uh, silver look to it and she went ahead and did the whole thing and i was like yeah and she wanted to do these and i was like no i, I want some texture there you know and, and uh so she did that she put like one or two layers on and done pretty good you know i mean it could use a little bit more attention but you know what i'm happy with it and i love her for it you know 
And if it helps her get into this, which I'm hoping, you know, and get her, her, her and her daughter into this, um, get to it. But she went around and did it. And I mean, in a way, it makes that stock BF Goodrich AT more aggressive. And, you know, in normal light, it doesn't look that good. I mean, my phone gives more light than what is actually in the room, which is okay. It helps you guys see. And sometimes I use it to help myself see better as it is, like with the vision. Um, so, yeah. She's done that as well. And I, I'm happy with it. Um, she took the wheels off and, and did it that way. Made it easier for her. So she wasn't have to deal with the, the whole crawler. Um, I have noticed since yesterday that she's done this. The, uh, the, um stock shocks let's see if we can get in here are starting to leak a little bit I mean it could be worse and it could be better you know sit there you can see the oil around the base of the shock where, where it mounts to the shock mount but you know what I don't drive it every day I want to but the weather is just it, I don't know it's just and next month's my last payment on it through Tower Hobbies. And I'm really still appreciative for them. Um, I'm not going to try and make this too long because I got UFC going and that's one of my favorite things. My brother's a, a national and international Taekwondo champion and I try and watch UFC. It's one of my favorites. Um, we got a, a friend in the UFC as well out of Salt Lake City or Orem area in Utah. But... It's okay, I got it recorded, and while I was doing this, you know, I just finished dinner and dealing with a toothache, so I'm, I'm full, but I'm kind of hurting tonight, so I'm, I'm going to try and make this short, but if not, it's okay, I, li I like doing this stuff for you guys, but uh, put she put the wheels back on, she's like, there you go, you know, it's like cool, and uh, she had to go watch her, her niece and nephews while their dad had to run down to the bar and help her, uh, help his wife, my girlfriend's sister out finish off the night uh because of christmas parties uh, you know typical thing this time of year but uh yeah so in the future back to it i'm not trying to be all over that's just how i am it's how i've always been and i'm not i'm trying to get better at staying on topic but you know i got this thing what my nana bear says a d o s s attention deficit oh shit shiny ha <laughs> shiny but uh you know back to the shock thing um I may hold off on roof rack and uh, order me the bumper and then some new shocks. I'm going to go with some, some actual aluminum shocks. Um, I haven't decided what size. i uh, talked to Colin again from, well, not again, but I have talked to Colin about it from Tower Hobbies. Um, he has worked for Axial for, I think he said, two years. And uh, very knowledgeable in this stuff. And he... And he uh, he said, you know, I could go up to 100 millimeter shocks, but I could have some binding issues. Um, I only have a couple subscribers. Um, I call him Turtle. He comments quite a bit. And, dude, I appreciate you, man. Or, you know, I appreciate you a lot. You know, you're, you're one of my first subscribers. And, uh... Thank you for commenting and stuff. It shows that somebody cares and, and is watching my videos. You know, I'm not doing this for nothing. You know, I mean, granted, I have all day, every day. Being on disability, not much to do. But I have everyday life stuff. But you, you take the time to watch the videos and hang in there, you know, with them. And I try and get out as much out as possible. But I'm not trying to do a lot because then later on I have nothing. But come this spring, I think I'll have a lot more out. You know, we'll be going places. I'll take this along and we got some downtime i'll get out and play around you know and when we take dogs for walks there's a good trail place where i'm at called lions park uh it's got a good mile long trail and i hiked it for the first time last fall um we did what was it half a mile of it and uh so the round trip it was a mile uh good places it follows along a river it's got it's got some rocky areas uh, alongside the trail and whatnot, and so, uh, pretty awesome. My my dogs think that sometimes this is a fun fun thing to kind of chase after. They haven't attacked it yet, so I'm glad. 
but I mean, I got a boxer lab and a pit bull lab, and I mean, sweet as could be dogs, and uh, so I'm hoping that they'll get used to this a little bit more and not think it's not a toy to play, but if they ch if they chase it, you know, that's fine because uh lets them off the leash for a little bit, um, but anyways, back on topic, <laughs> sorry again, guys, um, so shocks will be upgraded, um, as well so i mean if you if somebody could help me you know what size to go with that works and i don't have to do a lot of modification because me i like modding stuff but in the back of my mind i'm scared that uh i'm let me turn this around i'm scared that something else is not going to work you know like when you work on a vehicle you fix one thing so let's say uh uh What's one thing It's well, everything on a vehicle is a chain reaction, you know. Um, for instance, say you fix a fuel filter. Chain reaction could happen that the fuel pump goes out, you know, and that's that's what I'm, I'm thinking of for this, you know. Uh, like, what is it, Newton's Law? Anything that can happen will happen type thing, you know. I live by that saying a lot through my, my life, and actually tonight I might actually, when I get done with this, uh, kind of go through a life story. Everybody's told me, hey, you ought to write a book or whatever. And I'm I'm not much of a reader unless it's a big interest. And I'm afraid, you know, some people won't, don't care about my life, you know, don't want to know about my life. But a lot of people are like, man, you've been through a lot. But that'll be later. So uh, she got done doing this. She had to go watch, you know, circling back around. She went and watched her niece and nephews. And I was playing around with it on the front room floor, and it was going along. In, especially, I noticed in reverse when I turned, and it was doing this number. And like the faster I went, you know, the slow, slower I went, it was kind of like, and it had that run, run, run. And then when I went fast, it was doing this. So I picked it up and turned it with one, with my, with the one hand while holding it, and it was kind of do, kind of doing it. And then I turned it upside down tried it that way held it in my lap and i thought okay maybe this shocks because you know when they're upside down you don't get that f that full oil up and down and it was it was like oh, wow, 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 wow. i was like what is going on and so i should have assessed it then but i wasn't sure so i took it outside i drove it out in the hard packed snow went over to to her sister and brother-in-law's house which is literally right next door i mean there's literally a body width between both our houses. I mean, I live in a mining town, so all the houses were, when they were built way, way back when, they were really close together because of the miners. You know, more people live, live close together type thing. Kind of sucks in a sense because I grew up in a house that, you know, an acre, and then we had like 20 acres behind us, and we had 40 acres of our own field across. So I, I had plenty of room to wander and whatnot and lived on a farm. But, you know, kind of kind of different here. So I took it outside and uh, kind of doing the same thing. Went in the house, kind of drove it around a little bit. She fell asleep watching the kids. So I got back home, sat on the couch, and um, move around here because I'm still getting used to the names of parts. I mean, I know it's like a normal vehicle. And um, this toothache, I took some sleeping meds. Sorry about the mess. Um... And knocked me out because of my toothache. I need to get it assessed. Um, it's part of the health conditions. I have teeth problems. So, sleeping made kind of slows down my motor skills and whatnot. But, you know, I'm doing this for you guys, you know. And uh, I'm not going to let my health stop me. Never have, never will. And I'm not going to slow down until I'm in the grave. Um, like they said, uh, rest is for the week. And, uh... I ain't going to sleep or rest until I'm dead. So I'm going to go to the parts, parts, uh, get the SEX book out. And go to the parts so I can name this off right for you guys. I ought to study this more. But, you know, i got plenty of stuff to do here in the house. And sorry it's taken so long. But I'm trying to remember where... Okay, there's the parts list. Where stuff is. Okay, there's hub. But, uh, 
I keep wanting to think it's the knuckle, st knuckle, but it's that outer part on your axle, right behind the wheel. Okay. This is the rear, I believe. <laughs> Sometimes I wish in the book it had the names of it right there with the with the with the number the part number. Um, but it seems to be pretty organized uh, parts number wise I'm sorry I got the phone down and whatnot oh wonderful the crack in the wall and the foundation is leaking more dirt that's another thing I gotta fix I was gonna brace it but the wall the, the foundation of this old house is just so thin I don't even know how this whole house is standing up honestly afraid one night I'm gonna be asleep and this this thing's gonna uh, just fall in on us okay I gotta find that part again AX 3 3 one thing about my memory is short I had a stroke while I was on dialysis and Short term went went out the door. Okay, it's not really showing it on here. Oh, there it is. Oh, why is it showing the HD drive shaft on there? That's not it. Bear with me, guys. I am so sorry. I may have to pause this and actually look into it. And then come back to you guys. <clears throat> okay, axle housing. There's that. I I know what it is, but when I you know when I think about it in my mind, it's like uh. Come on, Cody, think of it. AX Oh my gosh, I'm sorry guys. If they just only had the names of the parts on the part sheet, the diagrams, we could be on to like four different subjects by now. <laughs> Okay, here it is. I found it. Okay. The diagram. Okay. The straight axle adapters. That's what it is. The straight axle adapters. So I found that wobble. Um, let me get my flashlight out again. Okay, so, it was this here, the straight axle adapters. It was wobbling, this whole thing, you know, I was wiggling this back and forth, and I got the second hand in there, and I could feel this housing, ugh, get the flashlight up there, I could feel that housing moving around. I was like, what in the hell? And excuse language, that's how I am. Sailor mouth, military family growing up, and it was wiggling around. Well, 
I was like, oh, that's not good, you know. So I tightened that screw up right there. Right there. A little focus. There you guys go. A little bit, a little bit. I'm not trying to get the other screws in there. That one there on the left side of the screen. It was loose. And so I was like, well, okay, you know. Got looking at it. So I tightened up the other one over here. It was good. It was not loose, but I snugged it up. I was trying to be careful so I didn't hurt the plastic or anything, you know, subconscious. Looked at the back. Those were all tight. You know, everything that went I went through, I checked, you know, moving parts-wise for tightness. And, uh... girlfriend come downstairs she's like what are you doing I saw found a loose part she goes really and she goes well I didn't take that off I just realized I says yeah I understand you know I'm, I'm not blaming you for it and I don't blame her for anything you know I just kind of tease her and say it's her fault you type thing and we just kind of bicker back and forth and <laughs> but uh no I told her it wasn't it wasn't your fault so uh, I says, you know, it's probably just running and playing with it. It's it's kind of backed out a bit, and not a problem. I says, I'm glad I caught it before it came out, and then I'd be up a creek without a paddle. And uh, so tighten it down, done great. Um, other than that, no issues, no issues at all. But uh, just thought I'd share that bit of information. Um, I, wa I felt bad for cutting you guys short yesterday, um, and then, you know, I was like, ah, I need to go back and apologize, you know, I'm, I'm that kind of way, but, I mean, I'm stubborn too, you know, I don't like something you say, I'm, I'm going to tell, tell you, you know, I'm very opinionated, but, uh, through school and whatnot, I wasn't very sociable, and, and being on TikTok, and, and live feeds on Facebook and doing this stuff now has made me kind of come out of that shell more. I mean, out of high school, I got, I come out of that shell. I was like, okay, you know, you can't, you can't, you gotta be more sociable, you know, with people, you know, get people, you know, to know people and people know you and type thing, and, you know, instead of thinking, oh, he's a suspicious guy and whatnot. But, uh, uh, doing this for you guys is awesome. I, I like doing it. Um, like I said, subscribers, you know, I only got two for right now. Hoping to get more. Um, the last video, a lot of videos I've been watching are like from two years ago and whatnot of this. So obviously this came out like two years ago, I'm guessing, rough estimate. I haven't done my research. I should, but my assumption, I know I shouldn't assume things, but from what I've gathered from videos, the videos have been posted two years ago. So I'm guessing around in between, I'll say 2014 and 2016, the actual SX-10 to Jeep Cherokee come out, and, uh, um, I talked to Colin the other day, and I, and I asked him, I says, okay, I got a question, how comparable are parts from the AX-400046 and the 046-400067, the kit version versus, versus, uh, RTR, the, the uh uh the six seven or the four six four thousand uh yeah the last two digits the the seven is the rtr the six is the kit for those of you who don't know and new getting into this um i says what what what's the difference are they comparable with parts he goes the only thing that's really different from what he told me is the transmission and I think the skid plate. Other than that, he says everything's comparable. So I was like, awesome, you know. Very, very easy to find parts and whatnot. And since then, I've been able to search parts to be like, okay, that's for the kit version. That won't work. Me not thinking. I was like, well, if it's for the kit's part, it should, or the kit, yeah, the kit's version, it won't work for this. But it, it does. And it's good to realize that and know that now. Um, I have talked to my sister. I don't know if you, I just cut my face off or whatnot, how I had my phone set. But I did talk to my sister about getting some stickers done. Um, she hasn't really worked on anything that small. She works more on bigger scale decals, t-shirts, mugs, coffee mugs, cups, hats, whatnot. But uh, she said she'd give it a try. And I thought that was pretty, pretty cool. Um, still debating on painting it. I might just keep it this way. I don't know. 
Um, I want to come up with my own own design to uh, put on here, maybe on the hood or something. Um, later down the road, it may not be this year. It could be next year. I don't know. I, I just kind of do things on the fly. It's how my life is. Um, I have a one-to-one -one scale, 86 Toyota. And I want to get a Toyota. A Hilux Toyota. Um, again, I like doing things on a budget. So I'm trying to look into... Fly I'm researching now, later down the road while doing this. So when that time comes, I can do a Toyota. And uh, I want to do a replica scaled version of what I have. And I've also been looking into a 3D printer... For later down the road so i can build the roll bar that i have for my one-to-one -one for it um i don't have any updated up uh upgraded bumpers on my one-to-one -one toyota um so i may make some of my own if i get that printer and do it that way but uh i have my claimed brother from california who's a certified welder a certified mechanic he can get materials to build bumpers so i may just see if i can get some material from him and build one and then maybe if i get that printer build the bumper off of that off the one-to-one -one scale um speaking of one-to-one -one, i need to get back home and move it because my brother is picking up an 08 Dodge five uh, four door crew cab uh, five point seven Hemi, and he wants mine moved so he can park it there because my dad's got his old Chevy. I need to pull the motor out of and overhaul for him. Um, he's had that all of his life, but one year, and I mean that truck's an eighty four. It's three years older than I am, and I love that truck. It's the first truck I grew up doing, but. Uh, he needs it moved, so and it's down right now. I gotta fix water pump, timing chain, uh, do an over a uh, rebuild kit on the on the carburetor, and then it should be good to go. And then I can get it out here. But uh, I told him tonight not to move it because of uh, got a got a uh, the hot and cold weather we have out here. Um, it's made one of the tire uh, the passenger front tire on my Toyota go flat and I told him he wasn't moving that until it was pumped up or he'd be buying a new tire it's got a new tire on it that's uh uh well, let's see for four of them we paid almost a thousand bucks so and it doesn't have no more than 250 miles on it so I I told him he's not moving it unless he wants to you know ruin the ruin the bead and and uh buy me a new tire but uh the tires I have on it they aren't uh they aren't made no more they they are a master craft um coarser mt they don't make those anymore they've been discontinued so they've gone to an mxt i have to remember it's mxt because mtx makes a subwoofer and it's the opposite of that. it's an mxt uh all that they've done is change the tread pattern but good tires for lightweight trucks durango's toyota's nissan's uh uh Dodge Dakotas, S10s, Blazers, you know, half-ton Blazers. But, uh, yeah, as for RC stuff, uh, that's all. Um, I do still have parts come in the mail. I keep checking it every day. It's So far, it's hung up in Los Angeles, but it's supposed to be here. And there are the, the shackles, D-rings. But it should be here between the 21st of December... Music, get out here a bit. I feel like you're right in my eye, or I'm right, got you right in my eye. Um, December 21st to January 15th. I'm hoping sooner than later, but uh, we'll see. Get those thrown on. I'll have two extras because when I get the new bumper, it'll have them on it. So, yeah. All right. Um, I think that's everything. Uh, till next time. Uh, code red out. Thanks, guys.